Now, y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess, so let's get into it. What's going on, you guys? It's been your boy, Scott, by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, okay? And we are here to talk about Miss Wanda, Letitia, Melody Holt, and Letitia's cousin, and Miss Wanda's niece, Kiki, okay? Now, before we get into all that, before we get into all that, let's get into what I got going on today, okay? And today will be the live recap of Bad Boys Los Angeles with myself, Jamar84, and Maddie Rents, okay? We will be going live at 8.05, 7.05 Central Time so we can discuss these helpers on this screen, okay? And it's going to be hilarious like the last one was. So be on the lookout for that any other thing that i got coming up on my channel it will be discussed at the end of the video now y'all already know what time it is y'all already know what we here for and what we here for is for us to get messy that's what we here for now miss wanda went live and she spoke her grievances about the fact that melody had her niece kiki on the show and now she feels like there's hell to pay because Melody got her got her niece on the show talking crap about Tisha, okay? And not only did, did Miss Wanda go live, Letitia's cousin K uh, Kiki has some things to say on Instagram, basically outing Letitia for being fake as hell, okay? Now, this style of the video, because I see that you guys enjoyed my last video where I was playing the live audio style and I gave my commentary in between it when Miss Wanda went live going in on Melody, okay? I see that you guys enjoyed that particular video, so this video is going to be the same exact thing. We're going to play the audio um, of the live of Miss Wanda going live, and then we're going to cut it off and give the commentary and do whatever we do, because you know that is just what I do, so you know y'all ready for the deal, okay? So let's get into that right now. I got everything that I need right here. I got my Bluetooth speaker already ready. I got the video already ready to play. Hopefully there are no ads or nothing like that. So we about to get right on into this hot thing, okay? Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. I'm back. Hey, hey, hey. I'm so tired of all these folks calling me. Hey. Which I get at least 20 people on here before I say what I got to say. Hi. Hi, Rose. How are you doing? I am back. I'm at eight. Um... Okay, I'm at nine. Hey. Let me turn down the heat. Okay. Turn down my radio. Did y'all go to church today? Did y'all go to church? <laughs> hey, cousin, how you doing, Miss Love? Hey, Sandra. Are y'all ready for the tea? I know y'all are waiting. Are y'all ready? Girl, we've been waiting on the tea, girl. Just go on and spill the tea to them nine people you got in your live chat. Ready for the tea. You went to church today? Oh, that's so sweet. Yay. Y'all, I'm going to make this fast, quick. And I'm going to be on here at least for about 
five or ten minutes, okay? Girl, please. As we can already see right now, um, it was way more than five and ten minutes. Hell, it was more than ten. It was more than twenty. So not only can't Miss Wanda not talk and pronounce her words right, but she obviously can't count either. Because it may take longer than that. I'm just saying five or ten minutes. But anyway, y'all. Okay, correction. She said it may take longer than that, so she probably can't count, child. I don't know. What I want to say is a lot of people wants to know why I'm not getting on more so about taking the trip to Africa. My thing is, you guys would not have known anything about Marso going to Africa if it wasn't for Marso and Tisha telling you guys. I don't understand it. Make it make sense. That's, what I'm, that's why I'm on here today. I want y'all to make everything make sense to me. Now, that been almost four or five months ago. He been to Africa. Why is it not one lady, nobody came forward and say, well, we went, I went to Africa with Marsa. Make it make sense, y'all. Just because somebody don't come forward and say that they went to Africa with Marsa don't mean that no woman went to Afri Africa with him. Like we all said, he got them bitches on lock. That's why ain't nobody said nothing. Like, be smarter than that, Miss Wanda, but that might be a chore. This man can't go nowhere alone? Oh, my God. It's sad. It is so sad that if Marso do anything, everybody jumping all over him. But don't you jump all over him too? I'm trying to understand, Miss Wanda. I'm really trying to understand. When did you become so pro Marso? You the main one to be dragging him, child. Like, girl, <laughs> baby. They don't have no clue. They don't have any. They don't have no information. They don't have anything on him. So any move he make, he is out there with someone else. My but you're one of the people who have accused him of being out there with somebody else. See, this is my thing with Ms. Wanda. Like, girl, how are you going to get mad at the people for suspecting that he was with somebody else when you have made those same accusations at one point in time? Like, chill out. The thing is, y'all always say, one is not your business, but it's your business though, right? It's our business because y'all put it on, on TV for us to discuss it and for us, like people like myself, to make money off of it. So, yes, it is our business, hon. Make it make sense. Wanda, you should stay out. You never make sense. So, why do we need to make it make sense? You haven't made it make sense for us since you've been on the show, but okay, child. They business, but you always in they business. Make it make sense. I mean, come on, guys. Y'all always want me to get out of their business, but I can read. Over 200 comments that y'all always in their business. Always in those folks' business. If my daughter never came on live on TV herself and said that Marso went to Africa, how would y'all have known? I knew about it from day one. I know where he went. I knew where he went. Tisha knew where he went. Tisha knew when he was coming back. So... He been that been over five or six months ago. Why was it four or five months ago, or was it five or six months ago? Do you even know how many months ago it was? Because you keep on changing your story, chat. Y'all saying that he went to Africa with a woman. Why no one can't just go and just relax their mind? The man said he was going through a deep depression. If he was going through a deep depression, y'all should ask. Is depression not depressing? Accept it and leave it alone. You don't know. I guess if you had to kill yourself, you would have killed yourself over a woman. Come on now, y'all. I'm still trying to understand why are you so pro Marceau now? Because you haven't been in the past. So I'm really trying to understand it. But I guess it ain't for me to understand that, is it? Y'all know the ass always wants to know what Marceau is doing. You calling us nosy, but you be the main one in their damn business. Now, make that make sense. But just like I said, you hardly ever make sense, but you want everybody else to make sense. Child. What Marceau is doing, y'all been saying it for the last past 
five years and my- you been saying it girl also is out there cheating and like i said not once i have got not once receipt okay i'm done with that africa shit because okay you ain't got no receipt but yeah you have always why have you always asked myself was he cheating answer me that Maso went to Africa alone, and I believe he went alone. If he had went with someone else, he would have never told his wife he was going there. But that makes sense. He could have said, well, I'm going somewhere else. Uh, I'm going. He didn't never have to prove to her he was there. Are you dumb? Men lie all the time. Because guess what? The other woman, would have been, that would have been a good idea for another woman to say, oh, let me send her these pictures. Let me let her see this. It's crazy. Y'all people are crazy. Then y'all call me messy. Because I'm trying to talk to my son-in-law, but I'm messy. You miss it for more reasons than talking to Marcel, child. Man, it's sad. It's so sad. But I'm going to leave that alone. Y'all good friend who y'all love so much on this show. I'm going to jump on that case and I'm going to jump on another one. Because, yes, I got a long, lot of bones to pick. Putting my little niece on this show. Just a star shit. That's exactly what they did. Pour her on now. Now. Now that part I can agree with. This girl. <laughs> it's so funny to me. That this child had, let me see, had a gun for 23 years, a loaded gun for 23 years, y'all, 23. That her and my daughter been best of cousin, best of friend, best of everything. And to, well, I would say a lifetime, but... She lived it in Georgia for so many of those years that her and Tisha did. Did she say lived it in Georgia? Girl! <laughs> know each other. They knew each other, but they didn't know each other like that. Because her first 10 or 15 years, she was living in Georgia before she came back and moved with her grandmother. And with that being said, that they've been cousins for a lifetime, but only been hanging out as close close cousin as close close friend for the last past 25 years or longer okay for you guys to get on here and bring her little niece i mean her little cousin on here to throw salt on her it's sad <laughs> but nobody don't see that nobody don't see that they don't see what this person is doing to try to destroy life if they can't get Tisha one way, they try to get her another way. I don't know if Melody is trying to destroy her life, but she's definitely trying to be messy. And I said that plenty of times on my review. That was messy as hell for her to bring that woman on that show. But it's also messy as hell for Kiki to allow herself to be a pawn in any of this. So, yeah. I guess this MJ was old enough to try to turn him into a, a, a person that troublemaker. And it's sad. This girl is, is toxic, y'all. Very toxic. Just because you and your husband not together anymore, you feel like you can bring anybody on the show to destroy Tisha. <laughs> to destroy Tisha. But Tisha is the enemy, though. <laughs> oh, my God. This right here is this making me so mad. I already had to deal with that. That damn Marso. Then I got to come on here and deal with you guys to make it make sense to me. But I'm the messy one. I'm the messy one. I guess nobody see this but Wanda. Nobody don't see what this person is doing but Wanda. As a matter of fact, you're not the only person that sees it because I definitely see it. And I definitely think that male is being messy and underhanded and manipulative in this situation. But her niece is also partially to blame too because she allowed herself to be that. She knew she knew that Tisha was her cousin. 
She knew that Melody and Tisha had an issue, but she allowed herself to, to be involved in said issue. So can you really just point the finger at Mel for, for this alone, or do you point the finger at the both of them? Because that's exactly what I think about the situation. You can't just point the finger at Mel. Point the finger at your niece, too. Okay? And on top of that, we say that Miss Wanda is messy, and, and that she is. She's definitely messy now. That ain't no lie. She's messy as hell. But at the same time, if we're going to call Miss Wanda messy for the shit she do, we can call Melody messy for bringing that woman on there to talk shit about Tisha. Now, what if Miss Wanda was messy enough and brought Ariana on the show, then everybody would have said, now, nah, Wanda messy. Wanda need to stay out of... I'm just saying. She got a loaded gun for the last past 25 years. Never had any problem. Never had any issue with her cousin until somebody else decided to see a weak spot of someone and they try to use it they try to use it to their advantage and it's bad it's sad now if tisha had did that to her family it'd be chaos but i'm letting you know girl y'all messing with the right family i promise you y'all you messing with the right family and i promise you this family you do not want to mess with on or off tv I'm telling you the honest God true. This one family you do not want to mess with. Period. And I'm keeping it real with you now. It's funny how all of her words end with a T. This is not the type of family that you want to mess with. Period. <laughs> because when you start putting family involved in it, putting folks out, calling folks out to destroy their family, I have a big issue with that. Period. Because blood is always thicker than mud. Always. Blood. Blood is always thicker than mud. Blood. Blood is blood, not blood. It does not end with a T, honey. Now, I want y'all to know. All y'all fans, all y'all, the other person fans, I want y'all to look at this and look very careful. Because it's very sad. It's a sad situation. It's very sad. It's a sad situation. Girl, stop adding T's to your words, honey. Now, no. Did she put a gun to Kiki head? No. Did she make, did she grab Kiki legs and turn? No, but it was an invitation there. It was an invitation there. So my thing is, you know when a person is weak in certain area? My thing is that, yes, it was an invitation. It, it was an invitation there, but at the same time, Kiki could have declined the invitation. It's that simple. Kiki wanted TV time. You can make a food out of certain people because they weak. So basically you're saying Kiki weak. Oh, okay. I don't like that. Don't play. Don't play with me, girl. Please do not play with me. See, because now, not only are you talking about Marceau, now you are talking about my family family. Now you're putting my family in this. And I don't like it at all. Don't do that. Leave my family out of it. Please leave my family out of it. Okay? So I'm telling y'all, I'm going to go in on this whole thing. I'm telling y'all, I'm going to go slap in. Please leave my family out of it. Okay? So I'm not trying to call nobody. I, I was being very nice last week. I was being messy last week, I must say. I was. I was being very messy because my thing is people look at adulterers different than I look at it. I look at it as God way of looking at things. God say, commend the is commend the daughters. Okay. He didn't say who do it, whether the man or the woman do it. It's still commend the daughter. What, what if I went out there and I'm married now and I got me a boyfriend, I'm commend the daughters. Regardless how long me and my husband been separated, if we've been separated for 10 years, that still mean that I am committing adulterers. Whether y'all like it or not, quit doing favoritism. I mean, quit you, quit, um, quit trying to make everybody else seem better than the next person. That person ain't no better than the next person. Commend adulterers is commend adulterers. And I'm going to leave that alone. Y'all can take it however y'all want to take it. But it's the same thing. God upstairs, he's looking high. I mean, he looked low. And he also pick everybody up and make them whatever. I'm making y'all making me mad now. I'm serious. When I get mad, I get tired to honey. So let me leave that alone. But anyway, um, 
Kiki, you know what you're doing. Don't let them make an ass out of you. Don't let them do this to you. Please don't. Don't let them do this to you, girl. Because this is not what you want for real. Please, leave it alone. Leave it alone, okay? Leave it alone. Let me see. Um, um, okay, hold on, you guys, because there's an ad here. So give me a second. Let me get let me get rid of this ad first. Let me get rid of this ad. Let me get rid of this ad. Hold on, y'all. And she big man too. She real mad, honey. Miss Wanda real mad, child. And um, yeah, we're gonna continue on with this, baby. We're gonna continue on with this. So uh, there you go. So I had to send some to Bundy. Okay, so we're about to get right on back into this. About to get right on back into this live, y'all, because I had to get rid of that ad first so we can continue. So here we go. Tisha, girl, get you some cake and ice cream because that damn sleepover. <laughs> baby, Tisha, get you some cake and ice cream, baby. <laughs> hey, Nene. Hey, girl, how are you? All right. Hold on, let me tell what? Tisha this right here, right quick, girl. Tisha. What? Get you some cake and ice cream because that uh sleepover they had. Girl, first of all, I just want to applause Kimmy for being true. I love you, yep. Kimmy, for that. You was true, girl. You was on point. I mean, girl, you was always on point. Then I love you for that. Oh, now she always on point because she was seeing things from Tisha's standpoint. See, it's very convenient, Wanda. Stop it. Kimmy, I would never forgive you. I'll never forget what you did. I would never forget. Okay. And what you said. I love you for that, Kimmy. <laughs> but how I, convenient that she loves Kimmy now. Like <laughs> please. All the other girls. All the other girls. Y'all throw Tisha part and didn't even invite her. <laughs> I'm serious. Did you Nene? Did you mm -hmm. see the party? Did you see the sleepover? They did not invite her, but the whole party was all yep. about her. You did not invite and her. I in there. Right. She was there in spirit. Yep. Her spirit was. was there. When that girl, that was nice mm -hmm. one. I enjoyed the show. Was. It was really nice. Thank y'all. Tisha, get you some cake and ice cream and Mars and Marso get you a bottle of your champagne, baby. And open it up because that was nice. I enjoyed that. Teacher named and never got through talking from the time of the show to the end of the show. It was all about me. It was all about Tisha, not me, Tisha. It was all about Tisha. It was. <laughs> the whole show was all about Tisha. Gosh. Oh my that was good God. about it. Then they won't, then they talking about Masso. Make it make sense. I can't talk about Marceau, but the whole show was about Tisha and Marceau. Infidelity. I'm like, oh my God. If Marceau got it like this, ooh, Marceau, you a bad, bad. You know the word I'm going to say. You a bad, bad man, babe. You bad. You bad to the bone. You bad, babe. They want you to cheat so bad to you might as well go out there and cheat. <laughs> You wanted them to cheat too. Like, why are you mad? Hey, I'm, I'm serious. Because what is gonna profit them if he was out there doing whatever? What are gonna mm. what are they gonna what they gonna comfort out of it? Hey, miserable company, I tell you that. I just want to know what they're gonna get out of it. I'm trying to figure out why my cousin was relevant and she wasn't invited, so I'm lost. Make it make sense. <laughs> My cousin, I had to pull it over there because I got to give me some gas. And I'm like, I have to go this live. I'm so tired of people keep on talking. Make it make sense. That's all I want y'all to do. Make it make sense. Um, she was very much relevant. She was very much there. 
She was yep. there, but she wasn't there. <laughs> so the party was, they throw the party petition. <laughs> <laughs> they stole a party for my baby because they really called her name the whole while. Oh well, Kiki, you her cousin from 2018. What you think, Kiki? Uh -huh. You should have told them um, the same thing you thinking. I don't have time for this. That's what you should have told them, girl. Well, you know, I already told you I don't like it. And then when we get phone calls behind this, like, this, this is crazy. This is crazy. Very much. But I told them, they messing with the right family. <laughs> you picking with the right family. Exactly. So, um, I'm not mad at nobody. I'm not mad at nobody. Don't get on this live and say, that Wanda was being messy today because I'm not being messy. I said, make it make sense. That's all I'm singing. Make it make sense because once I get some alcohol in me, it may go a whole different level. But at this point, <laughs> make it make sense that Tisha is, is a person intimate when Tisha is not in the room, period. Ain't got no, then was not invited, but her whole name was called the whole while. So who seem like jealous of who? But this person got all this. They doing good. This seems like to me they miserable. It don't seem like they doing good to me. Mm -hmm. I just want to know. What you think? It's crazy. I'm just trying to, you know, people bringing me in. And like people who I don't even talk to every day. Like, who is Kiki? I'm like, yes, that's my cousin. You know, but I'm not going to say anything. It's not right in. I'm not gonna go against my family for nobody. I don't care who it is. Oh, right. some things you just have to just walk out of. You know, I would have. Is that if I would have? Okay, you to my cousin is not defending herself. That's what I would say. She's not here to defend herself, so we're gonna leave it at that. I would have walked out. That's me, but everybody ain't like me, so that's what I would have said. And I would have said it twice. If somebody didn't eat it the first time, I didn't mind saying it again. So. But it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's cool, I don't, though. I, yeah, it's cool. It's just like I'm telling these people, I don't even want to talk to y'all. So I'm finding out stuff just like y'all. I'm watching it just like y'all. Exactly. I'm watching everything just like y'all. I don't know anything, but whatever y'all want to know, y'all are more than welcome. Just like y'all inbox to the economy. Call them and ask them what's going on. Exactly. That part. <laughs> what's going on? Off. I'm going to get off my live. The last time they said it was two hours, and I do not want to be no two hours long this time. But only thing I got to say, Maso went to Africa to, to my ability and to my knowledge. Y'all wouldn't have not known anything. Your ability. You just saying anything, Wanda. Thing about Maso going to Africa. Now, but what they want to say that he didn't go alone. But my thing is, that been three or four months ago. Why they did not know he went to Africa before? Okay, first it was four or five months ago. Then it was five or six months ago. Now you saying it was three or four months ago. Girl, how many months was it? Can you count? Should I'm saying something. Exactly, but see, here's the thing. If Tisha, if, if Marcel was out here cheating, okay, so why would she let him go to a whole different country by himself? So evidently he haven't given, given her a reason to feel insecure about their marriage. For yeah, like he no top of So exactly. all these twenty girls kids and all these generic babies out the we're we coming out, baby, just sit down. Sit down. So evidently my cousin trusts her husband to go to a country with from there. He's a grown man. Men go through stuff just like women go through stuff. Correct. <laughs> when I have problems, and when I have problems, I go places and I don't tell nobody. I just jump up and go. Husband, no husband, whoever. I just go. When y'all call me, I may be in California somewhere. And y'all like, oh, girl, where are you going to go? I just feel like I want to go. Right. And I have a husband, a whole husband. Yep. 
So you got to figure it's who you are. And so you ain't got the boyfriend no more. It's just the husband. And how you kind of think? But I will say this here: if my son was out there cheating, I'm not gonna say he's cheating because I nobody gave me no reason. Nobody gave me anything to go on. I don't like the way Marceau handled business. I don't like the way Marceau handled answer questions. I don't like that. I don't. But for him, for them to say Marceau doing this, Marceau doing that. One day, like I said, I, I was down teaching them house. And I stayed outside in my car. And I seen Marceau leaving around by 1 o'clock. I went to see where he was going. And I called Tisha and I told Tisha, oh, well, he down here at the other house getting something to eat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I rolled up on him. So my thing is, if that was a girl, you would believe me, I would have been in jail that night. She had to come and bond me out. Yep. <laughs> but it ain't none of my business. <laughs> Everybody know <laughs> when it comes down to my children, my children is my business. I don't care who they married to. They are my business. And if you know me, and if you know my children, every one of my children is married to, they know who I am. Mm -hmm. They know who I am. And who they go with, they know who I am. I'm just going to keep it real. Those are my kids, and they are my business. That's the problem now. Young folks, I mean, old people feel like their children is grown, and they don't feel like they no longer their business. That is your business. You raise your child up, and you have done your job, but still, your job is never done when it comes down to a mother. A mother's mm -hmm. job is never done. Okay. Because as much as we do wrong, as much as we go out here and uh, uh, go out here and do do commit to Georgia, go do all this other stuff, we still got somebody that loves us, and that's God above. Okay, God mm -hmm. loves us in spite of what we do. We still are His children. He don't care how old we get. God it's don't bad. care how old you get. You still are His child. Whatever you go out there and do wrong, whatever you say wrong, God say you still are my child. You still my child. I am still their mother, regardless of what. Mm -hmm. Those are still my kids. And if I feel like going, I didn't, my son didn't have no problem with asking me for Tisha hand. And I know, like his brother said, you're supposed to clean until uh, your mother and leave your mother and then take your, uh, your wife's hands and move on and move on. My thing is, um, he, um, Quanisha. Now, wait, let me tell you something. I tell you one more time, I, I'm not trying to get stuff that they're thinking of her. And thinking I'm trifling. <laughs> no. No. I ain't mean to call you Kiki. I meant to say <laughs> Quinesha. <laughs> but Quinesha, what, uh, what I'm saying is, my thing is, we all kin folks. Blood folks be thicker than mud. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When Kiki hurt, I'm hurt. When Tisha hurt, I'm hurt. Even yep. with Marso, when he hurting, I am hurting. Because those are my kids, my grandkids' daddy. Those are my daughter's husband. He's my daughter's husband. So why I shouldn't feel his pain? I'm his mother-in-law. But when I ask you a question, I do want to an answer. And that's why me and Maso always bump heads. And they're going to always see me and Maso bump heads. Because that's who Maso are. I mean, that's who Maso is, I must say. Yes, correct it. Say that's who Marso is, okay? That's who he is. But my thing is, I'm so hurt behind the idea. Tisha done put something out there and say, he went all the way to Africa, and he should have told me that, uh, I mean, he should have asked me. I could have let me know ahead of time. I could have got the kids up, and, and we could have went. But how can you get the kids up, like I told Tisha? How can you get the kids up and go to Africa for four or five days, and they got to go to school? Yes, they got to go to school. If he choose to jump up and say, "I want, I'm going to Africa," okay, let him go. Let him also go. go if he want to go to Bethlehem, that's his business. He have a right to go wherever he want to go. He can go wherever he want to go. He a grown man, but he don't have a reason. His wife do not have a reason to not trust her husband because other go. people, ever other people. Have insecurity because they had their husband out here cheating, doing whatever they've been doing. Right. You know, so why, why, she, why, she, why this man can't go to Africa? He got a passport. <laughs> I 
I have I can't see none of my I can't girl. see none of my messages. I can't see them. Try to see how do I get back over and see them. But see. anyway, somebody say you speaking the truth. That's right. Facts is facts. You can't you can't okay. argue with the facts. And my thing is, I love. I, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna get on here and dog my niece out. That's not who I am. Cause she's still my niece, and whatever the situation is. They shouldn't have brought her in. It. That's what I'm saying. And they shouldn't have, but she shouldn't have allowed herself to be in it either. And the thing is that since they brought her in it, now y'all putting me in it again to go deep further into your family issues. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I'm letting y'all know it's not just going to go like this easy. Okay. So I try to say I'm going to stay out of people business i'm not gonna be put people business well if i'm on the show or off the show i don't care y'all at this point when you put my family and bob in it it's time for me to go ham i'm telling you it's time for me to go all the way in so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna dig into your family affairs if i had to go knock on my on my tail door and find out who is your family who is your cousin who is your sister who is your brothers mm -hmm. okay because don't put my cousin in this mess and my niece in this mess. I don't like it. I really don't like it. So hey, now right. they finna make me go all the way in with Ariana, whatever her name is. I'm finna go all the way in. And I may have her to join my live one day and to see how I feel when you put family into things. See, because they didn't even like when I had her, when I was talking about how nice looking she was. And she's not even a family member of her. She's just a friend of um, of Matea. Y'all didn't like that. They didn't like that. So now y'all put me into another whole level to I'm going to find out who she is and where she at and let me be friend with her for a minute. That who child. Oh, it. See, because y'all open up Wanda's connection is messing up, y'all. It ain't me. I want this thing. Let's do it, baby. Hey, that part. I'm going to open up a whole can of worms. Don't play with me. Don't play with me when it comes to my family. Don't play with me. So, now it get real messy. If it get real messy. If it get really messy. And I'm telling them, if it get real messy. I don't really? like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Using my yeah. family, using my family for to put my own daughter, to put my daughter down, to put her own cousin down. Y'all using my family, <laughs> baby. I'm not gonna, girl. I'm gonna go. I got to get up out of here. I'm gonna go because. Now they went to a whole nother level. So they know I'm very pissed right about now. I really am. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. So let's open it. We could have popped some fireworks now, baby. Let some fireworks be popping. Because it's going to be a joyful noise to the Lord. It shall be. And I, I'm serious about it. I'm going to open up a lot of worms because of my thing is, you play these little games, we're going to play these popcorn games. We're going to play it. That's who's going to get the more popcorn out the deal. Because I'm popping popcorn mm -hmm. just like you can pop popcorn. Just like you can go to my family and bring mess on the show, I can go to your family too. So let's play it. Let's play this popcorn game. That's all I'm going to say about that. We're going to play. Let's pop this popcorn. Let's do it. I don't I don't want to lose all the people that I, that loves me so much on this show. But y'all know this this is wrong. This is wrong. This is so so ain't no wrong. Right in it. Ain't no right in it. And there's no right in this. It's wrong. So yes. Ain't um, no right in it. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. But if you try to hurt my daughter's feelings, I'm gonna hurt your feelings badly. Because one thing about feelings. If you ever try to put something up under my door, I'm going to put a, <laughs> I ain't going to even say that. Okay. I'm not going to even go there. And I'm not trying to hurt nobody or anything. 
But I'm going to let you see how I feel when you go to one person family and want them to talk about family. I'm going to let you see how it leads to talk about family. Mm-hmm. Because they never wanted me to say anything to the side chick. I would have been messed as hell if I went to the side chick. And I had all the opportunities in the world to have her on my life, to have her to come to my house, to invite her to different little things. I had all the opportunity in the world to do this. Way before now. I choose not to do it. I choose not to do this because I felt like that would have been hurting somebody's feelings. But now, somebody, I don't care. One of the, one of the, somebody asked, somebody asked me, did we know was Kiki going to be filming? Did we uh, this, I did. I was, we found out. I, I, knew, I knew she was going to be filming. I did knew this. But I didn't know which. I did knew this. It's I did know. I did know, girl. Who? And I didn't know. She always had film. She filmed with Tisha. She yeah, filmed she with Tisha. So, exactly. So it went like, well, um, I know she wasn't going to be filming with me. No, I did not. No, you know who's going to be that, that this girl was happy. I didn't I am aware of all of this. I am aware of all of this. And I'm seeing where it's coming from now. So now y'all want those salt? Baby, baby, I was throwing sugar at you at first. But now y'all want those salt? Let's throw salt. Let's throw salt. Yeah. I ain't there salt at that. What do you call it? I iron salt. Yeah. Or whatever. Let's throw this salt. <laughs> See, I yeah, was throwing sugar, real. baby. I was being sweet. I was being sweet, but Billy at the same time. But now we're going to throw all salt with no sugar in it. Period. I'm going to be salty as hell. They're going to call my nickname salt. <laughs> my food going to be salty. <laughs> <laughs> Look, with your new salt, everybody needs to eat. <laughs> I try to be as sweet as possible. I can. Now, they know I don't argue with nobody but Marceau. I also argue with everybody on the show, for real. I do. I do. Mm-hmm. I argue with everybody on the show when they bring my daughter and I in their mouth. Leave her out of it. Just leave her out of it. Y'all want to talk about my soul. And now that I'm too much talk about my soul without me getting into your butts. It's certain things you're not going to talk about here. Mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's certain things you're not going to say about him. Y'all don't want me to talk about him. We'll give y'all the rights to talk about him. Y'all don't want me to say nothing. We we'll get you the right. Make it make sense to me. Mm-hmm. I can't say yeah. nothing, but y'all can say everything about this man. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say, but I ain't got no rights to say. And he's my son-in-law. I have all the right to talk about his bald head ass. Yep, I said it. But let me get off this line, girl. <laughs> let me go before um. I yeah. Yeah. I ain't got time to be talking. I ain't gonna be Okay, so that was the tea of the day, honey. That's some of the tea of the day. That's some of the tea of the day. Where, um, where, hold on, wait a minute. Where, um, where Wanda went live. And she has said what she needed to say in regards to Melody bringing Kiki on the show. And my thing about the situation is this right here. You mad at Melody, which you got every right to be, because that was messy, that was foul, that was malicious and everything under the sun. So that is true. You have every right to be upset about that. But you should also be upset with uh, Kiki as well, because Kiki allowed herself to be... um, upon and be a part of this bullshit so if you're gonna be mad at anybody else you need to be you if you're gonna be mad at anybody you need to be mad at kiki as well because kiki is just as involved and just as ridiculous in this situation as melody is and it's just real talk that's facts on facts that's that's period okay so next up we got kiki now as you guys already know kiki was on the show and um, Melody was asking her questions in regards to um, Letitia's marriage with Marceau, and Kiki spoke on it. So on Instagram, uh, Tisha made a post talking about the truth, and then Kiki responded, and she said, 
And girl, you kid the bitch, you know exactly what the truth is. Don't play. Okay. And then she turned around and said, and girl, you're killing me trying to play victim when you know all of the shady shit that you've done and said about me these last eight years. I've never did shit to you. So stop. You tell the MF truth. Cause I'm most definitely not the one telling the lies. And you know that shit. Girl, don't play with me. Wrong MF1. You need to tell the truth. How the fuck you backstab somebody and try to play innocent? Bitch, please tell the motherfucking truth. Then she also came back and said, nah, there were absolutely no lies told. I get it, though. You really believe your friend and the lies that she's told. But I bet she didn't tell you the real behind our stupid ass relationship. Clearly, your girl has been straight lying to y'all for years about the real deal. And I guarantee you, I'd be willing to bet my last dollar that you don't know, even know the half of the shit that this girl has done to me. And I'll take it to the cross and stand before Jesus himself because he knows as well. Trust to believe that. Now, Tisha, you better stop because you're about to make shit get real ugly, man. I didn't start shit with you and you know that shit. So please don't come for me with this fake ass, woe is me, my cousin did me wrong bullshit because you know that is not the motherfucking case, girl. You know that shit straight up. So let's keep it real, please. Stop playing with me, girl. Like, for real. That was a lot. So according to what someone else said online, they said that Carlos King described the relationship between Letitia and Kiki as a Teresa and Melissa type of relationship. And if you watch um, Real Housewives of New Jersey, you already know how tumultuous the relationship is between Teresa and Melissa. And if it's anything like that, then that's a whole lot of bullshit. OK, that's a whole lot of bullshit. If it's anything like their relationship, that's one relationship I would never want to have, honey. And it is what it is, child. But um. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot going on with these girls in Huntsville. And I'm pretty sure that as the season continues, there will be a whole lot of stuff going on this season. And it will be a whole lot of stuff going on in the blogs. I have a whole lot to talk about. And you know, like I always say, my favorite saying, it is what it is. Okay. So um, I just want to know what y'all think about this because this is a whole lot of family drama. Now, I do understand why Wanda is upset that Melody brought Kiki to the show because I even said that it was messy as fuck and foul that she would even do that and bring Kiki to the show knowing that her and Tisha got all these issues with each other. But at the same time, Kiki allowed herself to be that pawn and be on the show. So if Wanda wants to blame anybody, then she need to blame her niece too because her niece is not innocent. I get it. That's your niece. You're going to be riding for your niece. You're going to be down for your niece. That's totally okay and understood. But at the end of the day, your niece is just as foul and messy as you say Mel is, period. They're both wrong. And that's, that's just that on that. Now, before we get up out of here, let's get into some promotional things that we got coming up on Scotty by Nature TV. Let's get into it. <laughs> And the, weather, and the weather you like or not panel will be returning with Scotty by Nature TV, giving you the real tea, Josiah's World TV, Yacrates, Really Be TV, and Simply Sakina. We will be back to cover the Real Housewives of Atlanta as well as Basketball Wives all spring, all summer. The Influence will feature myself and Reggie Ortiz as we discuss black music, R&B and hip hop music for the next 10 weeks in April. And it will be, a, it will be appearances by our childhood friends as well as many others. And who was wrong is another column that will be coming out in August. I mean, in April for another, for also for 10 weeks with 10 of your favorite YouTube 
um content creators okay so be ready for who was wrong okay also also um roaster review is a weekly show it, it's wednesday nights at 8 7 central it, it airs on all three of our channels okay it's a rotating panel it goes from my channel to terrence to josiah and it comes back to me again please be sure to subscribe to all three of us so you can get your weekly um taste of roaster review um this week it would be on terrence's channel again so be on the lookout for that and also boys night out it's another show that we do every other week. We'll be doing episode nine um, next Saturday, okay? Next Saturday. Not this coming Saturday, but next Saturday. Um, it'll be at 9, 8 Central Time, Saturday night, right here on Scotty by Nature TV. So with that being said, you guys, be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe to my channel, and also share this video and click on the notica notification bell so you can be notified when the video drops. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter and my IG will be down below in the description box. And if you want me to follow you back on IG, all you got to do is hit me up in the DMs with the hashtag message, Team Scotty. And Scotty would definitely follow you back. With that being said, you guys, your boy's out of here. Until my next video, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace out.